Now let's look at this uh, figure 21-50. And this figure deals with sealing at the boundary in accordance with uh, NEC of 514.9B as in boy. And notice what this illustration is all about. When do you need to seal a conduit that's routed out the lighting fixtures and things and you're passing through the 20-foot boundary that we boundary that we kind of talked about, sorry. Now notice no re, uh, seal is required here when we look at to the left of the uh, facility there. And 501.15A4 exception one. We do not need a seal here, see, no fitting. Why? Because we run this conduit unbroken so that you do not get into that boundary where you would have a seal. But now notice a fitting is required in 501.15A as an apple four, exception one. We would need a seal because we have a coupling that appears and that conduit run over to the lighting standard to the right instead of the uh, lighting standard to the left where we did not have a coupling in that run. And as I pointed out to you, we and other electricians have done the same. They used to get a 20-foot stalk of half inch and they would bend it and run it starting at the you know, in other words, you would bring it down where you see the lighting uh, standard to the left, number one. You'd bring it down and then turn it, but you wouldn't be in that boundary where you had a coupling. And that's what this illustration is illustrating there, see. So when you start getting into seal requirements, look at 501.130B. Now, notice looking at the lighting standard number two, class one, division two, boundary, is listed in your table, which we've seen, uh, 514.3B1 and B2, and figure 514.3 in the NEC illustrates that 20-foot boundary from the dispenser. And usually, you know, you, you get into that 20-foot boundary there, 18 inches up is Class 1, Division 1, and usually below the grade is a Class 1, uh, Division 1. In, in most cases, you'd have to see which code you were dealing with there. And then notice the bottom illustration throw, shows a coupling in the run going to the lighting standard. The lighting standard we're talking about here can be read uh, about in more detail in 410.30B as in boy, and then 240.5B as in boy 2. Uh, and then notice we do have that couple in there, but notice the lighting standards within that boundary. So you're going to have to uh, provide seals in that underground run because you have broken links with couplings in there in accordance with 501.15A4 exception number one. And then notice at the top of the filling station, say, notice there's no coupling in that boundary that you see there. We don't have a coupling. So we have an unbroken link, 501.15A4 exception number one. So that's what this illustration is all about. It's illustrating when you run a conduit system underneath or into the boundary area where a lighting standard may be installed due to, uh, you know, uh, space requirements, things like that, uh, you might have to seal. But if you don't have a coupling and you can run unbroken links and you would not have to seal because you're not considered entering into that boundary area. So just look at sealing at boundary in accordance with 514.9b and your requirements can be found. Now you notice we do have the illustration busy here with section numbers for you to review, but we want to make sure you get a complete loop so that you get a complete understanding of what is required with that boundary of 20 foot from the dispenser pumps and that course you know that's uh, in the directions is shown in the illustration up to 18 inches above the grade and that's what this illustration uh, 21-50 is illustrating to the designer and the installer uh, in accordance with the NEC.